Nice. Welcome back to another video. This one is following on from the RX-7. It's going to be a little bit of an interesting one. Farm find as usual, but that's what we found with the RX-7s. Again, goes back to the story of the performance shot closing down and all the project cars going into storage. And this one, I've only ever seen once. I can't even remember what it is. The garage won't even open. We're still trying to get the garage open. It's been in there a lot long. It's got to have been 15 years. So let's introduce a garage door, but it's going to be a bright pink Drag car Camaro. And then just went out, yeah, he shut it. Yeah, exactly. It's right, leave it there. Yeah. No, there's no truth. Right, it must be season. Yeah. Well, that's fine, so, 15 years of dirt, grime, water has seized the lock. So we ain't even got in there yet. We've been at it an hour. So the plan is now, we're going to get in a cordless angle grinder, some pry bars, some chisels, and we're making sure we're getting in that garage. Stay tuned, fingers crossed we'll get in today. Otherwise, I'm still sawing the door off. So we'll see how we get on. Should be us. Get the big boy. Get the big boy. The key entry. This is the uh, the safety key. Oh. So. Lock won't come off. So we have to cut the lock. It's not been open for 15 years. Couldn't really damage stuff because the garage door's got to be shut. So let's move the tools. Let's get the garage door open. Let's see what's in front of us. Where do you want me? Here? Yeah. And there it is. My God. I have not seen that in 15 years easily. Let's have a look. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> My God, no way. No way. I'm blown away. I saw this once 15 years ago when this car was swapped with a R32 GTR. The lads drove the R32 GTR over to Gibraltar and picked this thing up, brought it back, and it's gone in here ever since. Because at the time, 10 or 15 years ago, we was into the Jap cars, we were into you know the, the European market, we didn't really know much about the American cars. So the plan was always to basically get the car, recommission it, and, and probably get it back on the road and go drag racing. As you will have seen in the RX-7 video, the shop shut down, everything just got left. And this is one of them things that got left. Have you? Well, yeah, when we started it up. Because we never heard it run, obviously. I never heard it run. He drove it in Wigan. I swear to God, it went. God, I can, I can only imagine. Get a bit closer. 
Emma's like, what's in there? <laughs> so when you're ready to start pulling, watch this side, Robert. Watch the side of it coming out. Shout me if you need me to stop. Have I took the slack off the tool rope? We've got the slack. Is he rolling? At least we're over. At least I can pull it straight now. We'll cross that bridge when we get it. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe even yeah, put it on the other side now and pull, maybe. Yeah, I might need to... Oh, yeah, it's caught it's it's already, hasn't it? Yeah. I think we need to be switched. It's in, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Push it. Trailer long. <laughs> oh, it's going on. <laughs> it's going on. We're done. That's been a four hour battle. Flat tires. Winch is breaking. The busiest, quietest road on the planet. We're done. Let's get it all up to the van and let's get out of here. So, quite happy. I've got my breath. We've loaded the trailer. We're ready to leave. To show you how bad this job's been, I had to go home to get a compressor so we could pump the tires up. This tire is completely off the rim. It's not even attached no more, so that's knackered. All the brakes are seized, back tires were flat. But as you can see, we've pulled it out. What do we even start with this thing? The neighbors are coming out going, no way is that been in that garage for 15 years. Covered in leaves, covered in dust. And just look at the width of them back tires. This thing should have been fun when it were going. So let's get on the road, it's getting dark. I think that's me calling it a night. We'll give it a wash pulley in the morning and we'll have a look what we're dealing with. But this thing looks like a bundle of fun. And as you can see, cheeky nitrous bottle there. So you will have seen us pull out the Camaro from the uh, garage. So people are coming now to look at it because obviously it's up for sale. And look at this beautiful thing someone's turned up in. You don't expect to see these. Never in my life would have thought someone would be driving around as kind of a bit of a daily thing in one of these things. At least it's got the right back on to tow it away. Beautiful. So let them have a look at this Camaro. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed we'll be able to follow the journey a bit more. So the Camaro's now sold, going to its new owner. He just drove, I think, four or five hours to collect. It's just on the trailer, it's ready to disappear. The plans are they're gonna fully restore this um, drag car back to its pristine condition, like it was on the front cover of the magazine. So hopefully at some point, we'll be able to see this at Santa Pod running back up the strip. So it's going away now to be fully restored to back to its magazine condition. Nice to be in a part of this build. They're gonna really enjoy obviously having the, um, the video of it being pulled out the garage, but that's kind of in onto its next step in its life.
So that's me signing off in an interesting little adventure with this car and we'll follow it all the way through till it actually gets onto the strip at Santa Pod. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.